In skateboarding, you can either be regular or goofy, but is it called goofy because it's weird or does it have something to do with the Disney character? Let's see if we can figure it out. Welcome to Rad Rat Video. Here I talk about different skateboarding topics, including game reviews, trick histories, and other interesting videos from every corner of the skateboard world. If that sounds good to you, hit the subscribe button. So today we're talking about the history of Goofy Foot. For anyone new to skateboarding, Goofy is when you ride with your right foot in the front. If you do any research about the term Goofy Foot, you very quickly find that it's not meant to be offensive at all, and that the word Goofy wasn't even a bad thing at the time. It's not meant to be an insult or derogatory in any way. In fact, it's simply named after Goofy, the Disney character. Here's what the Goofy Foot Surf School has to say. Goofy Foot is one of the oldest terms still current in surfing jargon. It describes a right foot forward surfing stance and was coined from a Walt Disney film in the 1950s in which Goofy surfed with his right foot forward. The problem is, all of that is completely wrong. The movie they're talking about is called Hawaiian Holiday, which is from 1937, not from the 50s. And in the movie, Goofy does indeed ride Goofy stance, but the problem is he also rides regular. So he's mostly unsuccessful in his surfing attempts in the movie. He's always staying facing the audience. There's really no concept of which stance he's in. It's just like Bart Simpson. On top of that, the other characters in the movie switch stances too. So riding right foot forward could be called Mickey stance for what it's worth. He and Donald Duck are surfing Goofy right on the poster. Also, the word Goofy has always been a negative thing, coming from the word goff, which made its way to English around 1570 and meant fool. So both the Disney character and the stance are meant to mean silly or weird in some way. So if Goofy stance doesn't come from Disney, then where does it come from? The terms seem to become popular around 1962, possibly a little bit earlier. This is 25 years after the Disney movie came out, so unless our dads and grandpas had the world's first VCR, they only would have seen the movie on TV or a rerun at a drive-in theater. People who put their right foot forward are called Goofy Foots. This is a quote from Desmond Muirhead's Surfing in Hawaii, a personal memoir, which was released in 1962. The concise New Partridge Dictionary of Slang and Unconventional English agrees with this 1962 date. It says, Goofy Foot, noun, a surfer who surfs with the right foot forward. Most surfers surf with their left foot forward. Australia, 1962. A year later in 63, the magazine Paradise of the Pacific helpfully defines some surfing terms for us, like kook and hodad. For Goofy, it defines it as a strange type. No mention of it having to do with stance. Maybe the writer didn't really understand what was strange about them. The term was common by then, and in fact there were two songs referencing Goofy stance in 1963, Goofy Footer Hodad, Goofy Footer Hodad, roll over. And another one simply called Goofy Foot. Okay, so that's when the word comes from, but why? Is it really that uncommon and weird to be goofy? I looked up some numbers. Empora estimates it being about 70-30 in snowboarding. Of course, they also think that it comes from the Goofy character, and they don't cite any sources. But they do point out the interesting theory that since the right foot is controlled by a left brain hemisphere, which is used for spatial awareness, that that's usually why it's in the back for control. I'm not so sure that works for skateboarding though. Your back foot is more about power, and the precise flicks and movements of the front foot are with your left foot most of the time. I found some better numbers on skateboarding though. In a poll of over 1,500 responses on Skaters Cafe, the number is about 56% regular. The skate park of Tampa, they keep a database of skaters who have come to their park, and they have stance information on over 4,000 of them. And the number is actually exactly the same. 56% regular, 44% goofy. In other words, not very uncommon or weird, at least these days. Back in the 60s, there was still a big problem with being left-handed. It was even illegal in some countries. And here, you might get beaten with a ruler in school for writing with the wrong hand. There's a lot of effort made to correct it. You might be accused of being connected to the devil or even communism for some reason. I don't have any hard numbers on handedness versus stance, but there doesn't seem to be a strong connection. 44% of people are goofy, but only 10% are left-handed. 
So it's not like all left-handers are goofy and all righties are regular, but the point is more about being in the minority. Being a minority group of any kind in the 60s wasn't really a comfortable place to be. So think about surfing. If it's more common to be regular stance, and it was, the name regular or sometimes natural stance would point to that, then a lot of surfers were probably pressured into riding regular who wouldn't have otherwise. I bet if there were numbers on this kind of thing, it was more like 1 in 5 or 1 in 10 who actually stuck to riding goofy back in those days. Plus, there are some other issues that we might not think about as skateboarders. Now, I've never lived by an ocean and I've never gone surfing before, but I can imagine that if five guys all want to surf together and one dude is facing the wrong way, it could cause some problems. Maybe you're more likely to be blindsided by one if you ride too close and you're both facing opposite directions. Or he wants to ride the wave the opposite way. You could see how that one guy might get singled out and labeled with something like goofy. This is all summed up in the book Studies in English from 1970, which says, Surfers who have a right foot forward stance are known as goofy footers, or simply goofy surfers. This is doubtless derived from the older American expression goofy, which means ridiculous, silly, nutty. On screen right now, you'll see a poll. Are you regular or goofy? I want to see if your numbers match up to the averages. Also, in the comments, let me know your thoughts about this. Have you heard another theory about where the term goofy came from? If you liked the video, hit the like button and subscribe so you don't miss out on fresh skateboarding content like this every week and lately every day. Until next time, here are some more videos that you might like. Thanks for watching.